I'm, I'm 0 for 2. <laughs> Tavius, what's kind of just uh, stood out for you so far for working with both Jameis and Taysom? Is anything? Um, I just think they're both, you know, uh, competing, playing really well, and um, I think uh, I think we've been, you know, had a pretty good rhythm so far, both of them. So, um, you know, just it's a long, uh, you know, training camp, and you know, obviously we still got a lot of practices left. Still got games to play, so but you know I think both of them are playing well and and gelling pretty well with you know everybody on the offense. Feel a little more like football when the pads come on, especially for a guy like you playing running back. Yeah, yeah, it's, it uh, it helps out, especially at the running back position with reads and things just being a little more realistic. It's kind of hard to you know play full speed with uh, you know just in some shirts and shells. So definitely felt good to have the pads on and definitely helps the running backs. With Reese and the old line, I'm sure too. Some of the younger guys, like Stevie and Tony, look like too. They look good. Um, I think Tony Tony looks real good. You know, it being his second year, so him already being um, involved in the offense, getting some action when me and Alvin was out. Um, you know, that Carolina game. So um, he's looking real good, looking real confident, and Stevie. Um, he had a good day today again with the pads coming on. He's a bigger back, so that that uh, that uh, you know that helps his game because um, you know he's a big guy who you know used to his size as well. So um, I think they're playing well. Um, they'll continue to get better. Um, you know, continue to be a um, you know a help to them hopefully um, when they need it. I know you had been here long, but just kind of early impression of Devontae. Devontae, I mean, he he looks good. He's been a guy that you know obviously has ha had a lot of success, you know, you know playing, um, you know in Atlanta for all those years. He, he and I spent the Pro Bowl together some years back, so uh, we just uh, it was good to catch up with him and you know now to be alongside of him and compete with him and play with him. So um, just looking forward to, again to working with him, try to learn from him, and um, you know just try to get better together. Yeah, how different has it been this year with the kind of relaxed protocols a little bit? Like, does that help you guys out? Uh, just having, every, you know, having the vaccination rate being what it is? Yeah, I mean, I think it just gives us something less to worry about. So we're able to just, you know, not wake up in the morning, have to go get tested. And, you know, all the protocols we had to go through last year just, just removes some things off our plate that we can go out here or come out. Get, get, wake up in the morning, do what we do, get ready and go and go have practice. So um, hopefully it stays that way with how everything going on right now. Yeah. So wow. we'll see. Last year somehow, like sometimes feels surreal to think about. Um, it like it was another life. It's that yeah, it, yeah, it was. It was. I mean, I think, I think it was. I think it was. First time I ever experienced anything like that. I think we all look back at it. I'm sure years from now, and and just remember how crazy it was and how how much different it was. You know, especially um, you know you talk about you know again the protocols every day. You talk about playing in front of no fans. It was just something I don't think everybody anyone seen being you know for real. So. Uh, uh, but, you know, the fact that we were able to have a season and for the most part, it felt just as real as any other season, I think is, you know, was pretty impressive. And so uh, um, so we look forward to this year fans being back again. Hopefully, you know, everything stays that way so we can go experience what's really cool about this. And that's playing in front of friends, family, fans um, and, and embracing that part of the game. And not having a whole running back room going to protocol. Hey, there you go. And not missing games because, yeah. Being able to leave your hotel. Yeah, that, all that. Seeing family, all that. Um, yeah, so again, hopefully it stays that way and and we can, you know, enjoy enjoy the season the way we want. But, Tavis, is there a number in your head or in the coaching staff, Coach Payton, as far as number of touches per game? I know it matters to opponent, but I think you've earned that right. Uh, do you feel like for sure double-digit touches every game or what? Um, I would love to have double-digit touches every game. Um, 
Um, I know, you know, it, it varies depending on the game, depending on the flow of the game, um, game plan. So, again, I think just for me, especially, you know, when I became a, a back that shared the load, regardless of where I was, um, I, I, I just – I knew it was a, a more important than to take advantage of the reps that I got and try to make the most of the reps that I got. Um, and hopefully that turned into, you know, more reps, more opportunities. But um, I would say that'd be my biggest concern now, man, is just making sure I'm going out there and being effective, doing the things that I do well um, and, and earning those reps, earning those opportunities. That's what's important for me. Do you look at it as what sort of a benefit to it? Does it extend your career a little bit? I mean, less miles on the top. Yeah, yeah. The two back, yeah, definitely. Um, when you when you when you go from being a starter, and then now splitting reps, you uh, you know you look at the the pros and the cons, right? The cons is not getting all those opportunities and those chances, but you know some of the pros was taking more off my body, um, and then you know giving me the opportunity to you know hopefully play a few more years longer. Um, and be fresh, um, you know, and have that, that two-back combination for sure. All right, thank you. Cool.